The Second World War witnessed the dawn of a new age of aerial combat. Among the many aircraft, the Hawker Hurricane stands out as a symbol of resilience and effectiveness. Often overshadowed by the Spitfire, the Hurricane played a pivotal role in the conflict. From Britain to North Africa, the Hurricane was a steadfast defender of freedom. Its robust design and versatility allowed it to serve in many roles throughout the war. A true workhorse, flown by pilots from many nations, it was relied on for its performance in danger. The Hawker Hurricane's origins trace back to the early 1930s, a time of rapid aviation advancement. The Royal Air Force sought to modernize its fighter force, replacing aging biplanes. Sidney Cam, a gifted engineer at Hawker Aircraft Company, answered the call. The prototype Hurricane took to the skies on November 6, 1935. Powered by a Rolls-Royce Merlin engine, it exceeded the RAF's expectations. Initially met with skepticism, the Hurricane proved robust and adaptable. Its structure allowed for rapid repairs, even in the field. The Hawker Hurricane, while not as aesthetically striking as some of its contemporaries, possessed a rugged elegance in its simplicity. Its design, a blend of traditional construction methods and modern aeronautical engineering, resulted in an aircraft that was both robust and surprisingly agile. The Hurricane's airframe, constructed primarily of wood and fabric over a steel tube framework, proved to be remarkably durable, capable of withstanding significant battle damage. The Hurricane's armament, initially consisting of eight Browning Mark II machine guns, provided a devastating punch. These guns, mounted in the wings, delivered a concentrated cone of fire that proved highly effective against enemy aircraft. The Hurricane's wide-track undercarriage, another key design feature, ensured stability during takeoff and landing, a crucial advantage when operating from hastily prepared airstrips. The Hurricane's cockpit, though spartan by modern standards, provided the pilot with good visibility and a well-arranged instrument panel. The aircraft's controls were responsive and well-harmonized, making it a relatively easy aircraft to fly. The Hurricane's handling characteristics, often described as forgiving, instilled confidence in its pilots, allowing them to focus on the task at hand. Trial by fire, the hurricane in the crucible of combat. The Hawker Hurricane's baptism by fire came in the opening months of World War II. The aircraft, already in service with the Royal Air Force, was quickly thrust into action following the outbreak of hostilities. The hurricane's first major engagement came during the Battle of France in 1940, where it faced the might of the Luftwaffe. Despite being outmatched by the German Messerschmitt fighters in terms of raw speed and maneuverability, the Hurricane proved to be a tenacious opponent. Its robust construction and heavy firepower made it a formidable adversary, particularly against bombers. The Hurricane's ability to absorb punishment and remain airborne even after sustaining significant damage earned it the respect of both its pilots and its adversaries. The Battle of Britain, which raged in the skies over England in the summer of 1940, became the Hurricane's defining moment. Paired with the Supermarine Spitfire, the Hurricane formed the backbone of the RAF's Fighter Command, tasked with repelling the Luftwaffe's relentless air assaults. The Hurricane's role in the Battle of Britain is often overshadowed by that of the Spitfire, but its contribution to the British victory was significant. The Notable Pilots of the Hawker Hurricane The Hawker Hurricane while renowned for its mechanical capabilities, would have been little more than a collection of metal and fabric without the skill and courage of the pilots who flew it. Among the many aviators who took the controls of the hurricane, several distinguished themselves as true aces, their names forever etched in the annals of aerial combat. Flight Lieutenant Marmaduke Pat Paddle, a South African flying with the Royal Air Force, stands as one of the most successful hurricane pilots of the war. Credited with at least 40 aerial victories, Paddle earned a reputation as a fearless and aggressive pilot. His skill in utilizing the Hurricane's strengths, particularly its stability as a gun platform, allowed him to achieve an astonishing kill ratio against enemy aircraft. Wing Commander Frank Carey, a British pilot who flew Hurricanes extensively during the Battle of France and the Battle of Britain, is another notable figure in the aircraft's history. Carey, credited with downing at least 28 enemy aircraft, was renowned for his tactical acumen and his ability to inspire those who served alongside him. Modifying the Hawker Hurricane throughout the war was key to securing victory, leading to various successful adaptations and variants of the aircraft. The Hawker Hurricane's inherent adaptability proved to be one of its greatest strengths. 
Throughout its service life, the aircraft underwent numerous modifications and enhancements, resulting in a wide array of variants tailored for specific roles. These variants allowed the Hurricane to remain relevant and effective in a constantly evolving combat environment. The Hurricane Mark IId, developed specifically for the anti-tank role, stands as a testament to the aircraft's versatility. Armed with two powerful 40mm cannons, the Mark IId proved to be a formidable weapon against armoured vehicles, particularly in the deserts of North Africa. Its ability to deliver a devastating punch against enemy tanks earned it a fearsome reputation among Axis ground forces. The Sea Hurricane, another notable variant, adapted the Hurricane for carrier operations. Modifications included a strengthened airframe, folding wings for storage aboard ship, and an arrestor hook for landing on the relatively short decks of aircraft carriers. The Sea Hurricane played a vital role in protecting Allied shipping convoys from enemy air attack, particularly in the Battle of the Atlantic. The Hawker Hurricane's legacy extends far beyond its wartime service. Its impact on the course of World War II and its enduring presence in aviation history make it a symbol of resilience and adaptability. The Hurricane's contributions to the Allied victory, particularly in the Battle of Britain, solidified its place as one of the most important aircraft of the era. Today the Hurricane is remembered not only for its technical achievements, but also for the bravery and skill of the pilots who flew it into combat. Its story continues to inspire new generations of aviation enthusiasts and historians alike.